Hey guys, Geekos Tech here, and uh, today we're going to be doing an iPhone SDK tutorial. Lately we haven't really uploaded too many SDK tutorials, and um, we've recently been doing some pretty basic ones, but uh, we're going to be uploading some more complicated ones after a couple more tutorials. So yeah, and uh, also I just finished sort of fixing up the um, channel, so go check that out. But let's get started. Today is going to be how to change the status bar from solid, transparent, or black. Now this can be very helpful depending on what application you uh, are going to make. Um, and all, all the apps that I have on my iPod, I have so many apps and it's just crazy. And um, a lot of them do not have a status bar at all or they do it's solid and it doesn't really contrast with the app so um, I'm gonna show you how this might affect in uh, app and stuff so I, I pulled a picture from the internet and um, yeah so we can do file new project view based application choose and uh, I'll just call this stat Status bar. There we go. So how you supposed to status bar? Yeah, I think. Or let's just do bar. S bar. Yeah, there we go. Alright, save that to my desktop. And we'll wait for Xcode to. There we go. Alright, so you can do this two ways. I'm going to show you both ways. And what my favorite way is doing it in the. Um, simulator because you can actually tell if it looks good or not. Alright, so I'll show you the first way. This is in the info.plist file. Make this full screen here. So it's in the info.plist file. Now over here you're gonna want to uh, change this to UI oh sorry not that we're gonna want to add and click that little button status bar style so select that status bar style then over here you have click wait yeah there we go click that little arrow you have three options grayscale default which is the normal status bar I'll come over here and show you guys grayscale default is the normal status bar in um, many apps which is this top status bar right here is the grayscale and then we have transparent black which is like the default one on the home screen and then we have opaque black which is the um, is it's like the transparent one but you can't see behind it so this is the opaque black and um, yeah so the the one on the home screen is the opaque black not the transparent black but that is the opaque black and then um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much how you do it on the first way second way is opening your nib file of your app view controller xib wait for interface builders to load okay and um here again this is the status bar with normal just default gray and over here you will see in the view attributes and if you don't have this just go to tools inspector inspector uh, attributes inspector on that so if you come over here it's called simulated user interface in the view attributes status bar you can do none so then over here it just went away gray which is the default black which is that and translucent black which uh, you can see behind it so that is the way in interface builder and I just showed you the way in um, the info.plist. 
Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed for a lot more SDK tutorials, app reviews, giveaways, and more.